Hey guys, welcome to Arnell Homestead. Today, I'm going to be giving you an update on what all we've been doing since I posted a video last. Um, but first, we got to get chores done. So, I'm going to work on that. And then I'll give you an update on what all we've been working on. Alrighty guys, so first, while I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, my rabbits. As you may know, I bred them to the buck, and let me show you how they're doing. Alrighty guys, so we'll start here, and then we'll work our way down. So you can see the buck, he's doing good. He doesn't do much but eat, drink and sit in his corner that's all he does and these girls you can see she has nested and she had her babies i kind of looked around um i'm gonna look around again this morning but she had them um let's see sunday morning i came out here she was starting to nest and then once we got home from church, she had her babies. So, super excited. She had her babies. And then if you come down some more, you can see she nested. And she also had her babies. So here, let me see if I can put y'all up here and then we'll focus. And then maybe you can see the fur moving around. It's the babies moving. I don't know if you saw it. It was just a little. But these two girls had their babies. So super excited. I'm going to open their. Oh, I hit y'all on the thing. I didn't know what I scrubbed y'all up against. All right. I'm going to show you the babies real quick. And also that way I can see um, about how many we have. We'll prop this. Hold on. There. Prop it against there. Alright, let's see how many babies she had. So you can see there are a bunch in there. We had quite a few, but I'm going to leave them alone, but y'all can kind of see hers. Now she's almost sitting on top of her babies. <laughs> All right, let's see how, oh. Man, really need to get something else. Except that screw. Maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, I'll get me some hinges or, or we got hinges. I'll get me some latches. That way we can open these doors much easier. Because the drill and the screws are getting a bit hard. But let's show you hers. I can't prop her door up on anything. So, hey girl, how many babies did you have? It's kind of hard. Let's 
So, you can see in there, not sure how many she has, but she has some more like grayish ones. I'm guessing that's just because she's more gray. The other one, um, and y'all could kind of see like this, maybe, I'm not sure, but y'all may have been able to see some of them were spotted. So, super excited to see what all, um, colors we get, um, since we got like an orange and white buck, and then we got these two gray does, um, but let's go get that the layer the pasture flock fed because they're probably getting pretty restless over there. Oh, I forgot I jumped over. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go inside see if there are any more scraps, and then we'll get them fed, and then I'll give you an update on the goats and the coaching that hatched out those chicks. Alrighty guys, let me show you our mixture. So on top we got some uh, layer pellet. Uh, second layer is chick starter. And then third layer is the green, um, is the rabbit feed. So, if I can find the handle. Let's go get these, or let's go get this over to that other flock. And then, uh, it looks like the chickens have been in the garden. Cover it up a little bit. It'll be okay, though. All right. So, let's go get this fed to them. And then I got to figure out where I'm going to put the goats because I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. So, oh, well, it looks like the chicken's door is closed still. So, let's get in. It's ran into a spider web. Hold on. All right. Much better. All right, let's see. All right, let's get these guys fed. And also, I think I have another broody hen. She's been sitting on this nesting box now. Still got spider web on me. She's been sitting there for about two days in the same nesting box. So she, if I had to guess, she's broody. Um, so. We're gonna, if she stays there today, a whole, all day today, um, I'm gonna have to figure out something, uh, cause I don't want her in here because all the other chickens will, when she gets off, they'll lay their eggs in there and then she'll just have a whole nesting box full of eggs. So, what I'll do is just like I did with Kochi and take her out and set her um, aside somewhere. So, she stays there all day today. Um, we'll definitely get her uh, situated. Then we'll have more chicks. So, yeah. look how dirty the front of this is. Once we get it a, like around this corner and over closer to the camper where the water hose is, um, I'll take it and wash the whole thing out, like clean it out in there. Because the hay, when they're trying to make the nest, some of it falls down and then it covers up the wire floor. And then what happens is when they go in there at night to sleep they poop and then it all just builds up so once we get them around there closer to the water hose we definitely need to get all this washed off and make it look all um a lot better so
because you can see the door's all messy, and also that is because um, a few nights they've been sleeping up here since the door's been closing earlier for some reason. Um, and so I guess they've been pooping and it's just been falling right there. But anyways, let's get their feed uh, scattered around and then we'll let them out. Alright, so you can see we got us a nice long grow. Now let's come around. And cut this, or open this. And here they come. I got out and then see she came along. I got out because I was about to go and finish up chores, but since that hen did get off that nest, I must see how many eggs she has under her. And also you can see we need to get some hay in here. Putting the hay in there will also help uh, keep the eggs all in one spot. When there's no hay, they kind of scatter around and then she can't keep them all um, warm the same. So, so it looks like she's got eight or nine in there. So that's plenty. I won't make her have any more or take any away. Um, that's, oh no, I gave Coachy the coaching uh, a few more than that. But anyways. Let's go get the rest of the chores done. And then I'll give you an update on the garden because we've done a lot in here. Oh, yeah, we'll just say a lot. And then I also have some footage of us doing some stuff in here. So in just a minute, I'll show you all that. Um... And then I think I got some footage on, well, I'll just show you it in just a second. Goldie, why are you out? You can't be out. <laughs> then they'll go in the garden and, and eat all of our stuff. So, let's see. So we need to feed dogs and cats, but Sally and Pup will get meat. I think we got like some pork tenderloins for Pup. And then I think we got either some ground beef or ground sausage for Sally. Um, and then we'll get brownie and snicker fed. Um, it depends on what we have because we're basically completely out of feed so um if y'all don't believe me let me show you so you can see in here this is our layer food barrel we have no no layer feed and barely any chick starter if it can see if y'all can see it and then this is our rabbit food barrel and see barely anything in there except some moldy stuff because it rains uh during the rain uh, when i lift this up some gets in there so you can see nothing in there really and then this this is just where we keep like uh grit and then like brushes like to clean out the waterers and this is the dog food barrel you can see there is some stuff in here, but not a whole lot. And then the alfalfa for the goats. We have enough of that, but all right. Let's get snicker and brownie fed dog food. Um, and there's a reason I'm giving them this instead of 
um, just scraps. Um, well, snicker, it doesn't really matter, but brownie, it does. And I'll show you why um, in just a second. Here by brownie. And real quick, let me give you um, what she's, what's going on with her. So, Brownie had some kittens um, two days before um, some tornadoes we had. And then she took them, oh, let's see, no. I think like the second day, one died, and then she took them over somewhere else, um, hit them there, and then we couldn't find them for a while. And this is like uh, during the storm, I'm guessing, she took them. And so she took them, and Brownie's making me lose focus. And so we took them and brought them in this cage. And by that time, we only had two. So we started with four, lost one um, when they were under this pallet. Then we lost another one. Hey, Caroline. And then we lost one when they were over in the tarp. And then we moved them in this cage under the camper. Brownie really wants this food. But she's got to wait a second. And then we moved them in this cage. And then we lost a little black one we had yesterday. So we're down to this one little orange kitten. And I think it will be the only or it is the only one, but I think it'll make it, um, but this is Brownie's first time. All right, let me see this snicker. Hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, she had four kittens. We're down to one now. Um, but you can see she needs some food and water and that white is cream that we gave her. Um, snicker hold on um but anyways let me get these two fed and then we'll feed dogs the dogs and we'll get the goats put out somewhere all righty guys so i made it over here and then i remembered i gave sally that beef patty this it was just a raw beef patty that we had in the fridge and then caroline is working on Getting pup, God duck because of that hot wire. Getting pup, a pig hoof. Um, if I had to guess, we were gonna use it for broth, and then it got all bad because it sat in the fridge for too long. Um, every time I do this, I can see the clouds, but then when I pull it up, the clouds disappear. So, you getting it? <laughs> it's a little hard. Pup's waiting for her food. I know, Pup. You almost got it all the way. There we go. And there's Pup's breakfast. Con, is that what your breakfast looks like in the morning? No. <laughs> Pup will like it, though. All right, let's make sure all that trash uh, goes in the trash can, okay? All right, so now that dogs and cats are fed, um, I'm going to get the goats out. And I'm going to go look around and see where I should put them. But while, what, did she grab it and take it? Yeah. Yeah. Pup. Um... Well, let me show you our coaching and let you know how she's doing. So, I got this propped up. You can see it's time to get them moved. Um, and it also looks like they could use some feed and water. Um, I need to, next time I go to the hay barn, I need to get a bigger feeder because they're going through that whole thing in a day. But, you can see her chicks are doing great. We had five, and now we're down to four. We lost one, 
I don't know how or why, but you can see we're down to four, and they are all doing really well. Almost fully feathered. Coach, he's done a pretty good job. All right, so I decided mom cut some grass right here uh, yesterday, so I decided I was just going to give them this uh, for now. Um, and you can see they're enjoying it. And it's just got some seed heads in it and all sorts of good stuff. So, let's... That way they're... They kind of calm down a little bit. Now I'm going to give you an update on the garden. So, let me... I'm going to go inside get me some water and then I'll give you an update on the garden. Alright, so I got some water. And I don't know what kind of footage I have of... Um, like when we planted this or like... I'm going to show you we got some plants. I don't know if we got any footage there. So... I'm just going to kind of throw it in here. Um, if there is a spot where, like, I don't remember. or So, anyways. I'm going to just kind of pop in some clips. Um, because I don't remember exactly um, what all I got footage of. So, let's start up here by our plants. And then we'll work our way down the garden. So, first off, you got basil right here. We got um, chamomile here. We got dill. And then these, um, I believe those are cilantro i think cilantro yeah and then over here we got our peppers you can see they're not doing uh too much but also you can see some of them are like purple some of them are green <laughs> charles just got shocked <laughs> yeah so you can see like some purples some greens and that's just because we got a big variety of peppers in here. And then, like I said, if I got a clip, I'll throw it up. Um, if I don't, oh well. But we got these. We got, let's see, those are rosemary. And then we got a bunch of rosemary, oregano, some Greek oregano, yarrow, um some cilantro that's what that is some more yarrow and then we got some rue this is rue um i and we got a few other things we got some eggplant and stuff like that but we already planted it and i'll show you it but we got that in section alabama i think um there's a mennonite community down there and they so they were they had a little store um so we checked it out um and yeah we got some plants i think mom also got some bread and uh we got some cookies while we were there because we needed a snack and yeah just a great little area but also we got you can see we got some lavender this is all lavender and then that's, this is rosemary, and then we got some more rosemary. And this is some comfrey that mom dug up um, from our comfrey plant over there. And so we tried to put it back in some soil, but it's not doing too good. And you can see we got some more oregano here. And then this is the kale, I think, or cabbage. I'm not, I don't, I can't remember what that one is ever. Um, but anyways, you can see all the, uh, plants on the table and stuff are doing good. And then I think I got a clip of me planting okra or something like that. But you can see we got a bunch of okra planted here. And we're working on putting cardboard down and mulching it. That way you can see all the weeds are starting to pop up. 
um, we can get those killed that way they don't um, get giant like it is right there so we got about 44 45 okra plants oh, and I almost forgot this is zinnias Caroline and dad planted these while I were while I was milking uh, a couple days ago but you can see we got a whole pot of zinnias plus some and then this little row right here we got some white eggplant two white eggplants and then I kind of messed up I pulled the leaves um, or I was trying to pull some dead leaves off of these two right here and I ended up breaking the stems um, but these are pickling cucumbers. These two are. And these are, uh, I think they're called General Lee cucumbers. Um, but you can see these are all doing good. And I got these at the Mennonite uh, store, I guess. Um... And then down here, well, yeah, well, let's go over here first. All right, so over here by the chickens, this whole area, y'all may not be able to see it, but I'll try to point it out. So we got one, two, three, four rows. Maybe if I get like this, y'all can kind of see them. You can maybe see them better. One. So, yeah, I can see them a little bit better, the rows. Uh, but all this is sunflowers. I probably got at least 100 sunflowers in this little area. And I put them here. That way they can all grow up. And then I can, when they're done, I can chop them and they're real close to the chickens. And sunflowers, they got all those seeds. Um, and then I think I got... A kind this year that you can actually save the seeds and uh, eat them so super excited for that and then over here we have a bunch of tomatoes exactly 19 tomatoes and I do think I got some footage of that as well so I'm going to show you that I'm not sure how long it'll be, but I'll show you that. And also we got, um, since you need companion plants for your tomatoes, we got some basil right here. And then we also have some marigolds that we can um, put in here. Um, but yeah, the tomatoes are doing really good this year. Um, and then you can see right here, um, we have some peppers. I'm going to be doing two rows of peppers, so one there, one there. Um just that way i do have some so you can see we have some peppers and these are tabasco peppers um i just haven't grown this kind before and i thought i'd try them and then same thing right here i don't know how well y'all can see them but maybe if i point them out y'all may be able to see them a little bit better but there's two rows of corn here there's probably about Man, my shadow's giant, but if I turn this way, the sun's going to be terrible. So, um, we got two rows, about 50, uh, 50 seeds of corn planted here. And then, ooh, I see that's bright over here and then super shady over here. Um... And then, so now that we got these two rows, I'm going to order me some more seeds. 
and pull once they come pull this tarp back some that way we can get a, probably another two or maybe even three rows of corn planted so that would give me three four five rows of corn um and so that'll give us plenty for us and then a whole bunch for animals so and then i'll do some seed saving from them but yeah that's what we've been doing in the garden um super excited once we get everything complete and i also am gonna this year do a p tp um so you just get some sticks and make a little tp and plant your peas around it so really excited for that i'm gonna be trying that this year but Cal wanted me to show her jumping so i'm gonna come over here and let y'all watch her jump for a minute. All right, while Kellen keeps on jumping, I'm gonna show you our wood here. Um, we got a bunch of this, or not all of it, but, um, these boards to here, or no, the boards on top are the stuff we've cut for hairpins, except this, this is just a sticker, um, and then, but we didn't realize was what we're gonna have to do is rip them some, because... I forget exactly, so I don't remember exactly, but I think, I'm not going to say it, because I'm probably going to get it, like, way wrong, um, but Polyface makes it, I don't exactly remember what it said, but we're going to have to rip these down a bit, um, which I guess is okay, but it's kind of a bummer um, that we didn't know before, or we could have just ripped the boards um, that were already long. Um, but we'll have to end up, I think, ripping a bunch of it. But anyways, that's our rabbit, our hairpins. So super excited once we get that those done. But hold on. But I'm going to go inside um ask mom what kind of needs to get done today but yeah i might do some mowing i'm not sure so i'm gonna go get with mom see what needs to be done today and yeah that's really it so all righty guys so i'm gonna wrap up this video here for y'all today make sure you like subscribe hit that little bell button Share this video with your friends and family. Y'all have a good one, and God bless.